Hi there, it's Enea. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna be making a Father's Day card. Here I have this fun and cute Donna mini stamp set by Long Phone and this cool Polaroid die from Selfie Frames. And that and the word that from the That Plus Me stamp set is what I'm going to be using today for my card. So I went ahead and die cut my two Polaroid frames using the die from Selfie Frames and I'm going to create a background for them using these two pieces of cardstock. I'm going to color my backgrounds very quick using Peacock Feathers and Celty O's and Distress Inks and also some tumble glass for the sky too. So I've taken my blending tool and I'm using it to apply both colors and blend them together trying to create the different shades of the ocean's waters. One of the Polaroid scenes will be underwater, but for the other I'm going to use one of the ocean waves accents dies to cut the line between the sea and the sky. I'm gonna use double-sided adhesive tape to adhere these background panels to my Polaroid frames, but before doing that I'm going to spray some water on top of my panels, and this water is going to react with the ink, creating little droplets that I think add a lot to the watery look. I use a paper towel to absorb the excess water and then I can go ahead and mount my Polaroid frames on top of the panels and then cut the excess paper with my scissors. going to be coloring the elements of my card with Copic markers, so I'm using this black ink to stamp them because it's Copic friendly. This shark is going to be the dad in my car, and I needed also a baby shark, and because I don't have it, I'm going to customize this little fish included in the set to be my baby shark. So to do that, I've got a little stripe out of a sticky note and I'm going to other it to my cardstock and that is going to mask part of the little fish so I can draw a fin for my baby shark. I'm doing this several times because this way I can keep the one I like the most. So I'm taking a Copic friendly black marker and start drawing until I'm enough happy with one of them. He's a bit too chubby for a shark, maybe, but I think it's okay. Let's call him Little Chubby Shark and let's go with that. This time I'm going to need only a few markers to do my coloring and it's going to be something super easy. So I'm focused on achieving a um, nice blending with my Copic markers. Once I've finished coloring the sharks, I'm going to use the Dana coordinating dies to cut the dot shark and fin. Because little chubby shark is unique, I'm going to cut him out with my scissors, leaving a little white border around him. To finish off the Polaroid scenes, I'm going to glue the fin and dot shark down with liquid glue and I'm gonna be using some foam adhesive for little chubby shark. Placing the big shark behind the Polaroid frame, I'm going to cut the excess with my, with my scissors. This Dana sentiment just drags me up, so I need to stamp it on the Polaroid with the fin. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a striped background for my card using masking paper and distress inks. Here I have a piece of masking paper and I'm cutting stripes out, out of it 
My first one is a quarter inch tall and I'm going to cut two of its sides and then make the next one a sixteenth inch taller. So here I have all my stripes ordered by size, the thinner ones are on top and I'm going to start adhering them to a piece of cardstock. To calculate the space between a pair of stripes I use the back piece that I've just peeled off from my latest stripe. Now that I have all my stripes in place, I'm going to take my chipped sapphire and salty ocean distress inks and apply them all over the panel with a blending tool. I'm using salty ocean on top of the cardstock and chipped sapphire on the bottom and I'm blending them together on the middle zone. Since I discovered Bristol Smooth Cardstock, this is the only cardstock I use when I need to do some ink blending because it's super easy and quick to achieve a nice and soft blending. So now I can peel off all those stripes and I really love how that turned out. To finish it off, I went ahead and die cut the border with an outside in stitch rectangle die. I'm gonna be placing the sentiment on a stripe of cardstock and to match the colors in the card I'm gonna take again my blending tool and apply some pe Peacock Feathers Distress Ink on my stripe and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment using Blue Jay ink on it. I'm creating my sentiment combining the George Jossom words from the Donna stamp set with the word that from the that plus me stamp set. So now it's time to put my card together and I'm gonna start by gluing down my panel to a Blue Jay card base using my tape runner and then I can go ahead and add my Polaroids and sentiments as well using foam adhesive. As a final touch, I'm adding a little heart that I've previously die cut using one of the dies from the selfie frames die set and I'm just coloring it with my B39 Copic marker and adhering it with some foam adhesive. At the end, I decided that I didn't like the card with the J blue card base because it was too dark at the bottom. So I used a peacock base instead and made another card changing the order of the masking stripes so the last stripe of my background is white and this goes perfectly with the J blue card base. So here's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here I have two more videos that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye!